York's Quality Bus Partnership has launched a customer charter, which has been displayed on a new light box at the city's busiest bus stop down at Rugia Street. The information is set to make fares easier to understand and timetables more clear. Well, the charter looks at um, what the council will provide, so things like uh, update, making sure the information bus shelters is correct, making sure the bus shelters are up to date, uh, looking at what, what the operators will provide, so um, high quality buses, and what passengers will do, so you know, changing drivers with respect and, and things like that. Well, York City Council have done a lot for um, bus passengers and bus operators in the past few years. They've been working really hard to do things like updating information in the um, bus shelters, putting up new bus shelters uh, and generally working uh, to make buses better. So this is a, a formalisation of the work they're doing. Funded by the Department for Transport, the bus shelter reopened on Tuesday the 8th of May. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic now that it's completed. It's a much better environment. It's not quite finished yet. We've still got to put benches and the real-time information into the shelter. Uh, but once it's, it's completely finished, it will hopefully transform what it's like to uh, wait for a bus here. We call this our central interchange. York doesn't have a bus station, but it's the nearest It's the nearest set of stops that we do have for a bus station. Um, virtually everything stops here, um, and it's one of the few places in the city where we can provide a, a big series of stops that are completely enclosed. Overall, this is part of a package of upgrading all of the bus stops across central York, which has included works at Exhibition Square, Stonebow, Museum Street. The package as a whole cost about a million pounds. This bus stop itself, um, the canopy and the pavement works here, plus all the real time and the benches and so on and so forth, has cost about 200,000. On estimates, the bus stop is used by 750,000 passengers per year, and the latest facilities are set to improve the service for many customers. It's going to be beneficial for uh, passengers, for example, on a day like today, it's going to protect them from this uh, rather bright sun. Um, and then when it gets into winter, it's going to really um, help them stay dry waiting for buses home from work. It's all going to be fitted with uh, real-time information, so uh, the customers are going to know exactly when their buses are going to arrive. Um, and then for drivers, it's always good for um, um, the drivers to know exactly where their stands are um, and where their, where their customers are going to be, whereas previously there's been a multitude of stops that's not been quite as obvious where, where to pick people up, so it should be a lot easier for them as well. It will be a much more comfortable place to, for them to wait. It's much lighter and much airier than it used to be. When we've got the benches and real-time information in, it'll be much more comfortable too. With the makeover complete, the bus shelter is set to provide the information and facilities a passenger needs for every journey they take. Rebecca Quamby, that's TV.